and welcome to May's Member Update. Out on the golf course, we've started using the state-of-the-art Air 2 G2 machine, which blasts air laterally up to 12 inches beneath the surface of the soil. These laterally injected air blasts loosen compacted soil immediately without any disruption to the surface of the turf or the roots below. It relieves compaction and enhances respiration. We aim to use this machine on a monthly basis. In May, we applied the planned granular fertiliser to the fairways. This application was scheduled to take place in April, but we simply just didn't get the rain required, so we had to delay it until May. Even though we have had some rain, we are still in great need of more to ensure that the seedlings continue to grow and the fertiliser can make its full impact. We are receiving great feedback on the greens, which are continuing to improve on a daily basis. As the soil temperatures continue to rise and the differential growth is reducing, a regular programme of rolling, top dressing and brushing are all now taking place. This will really help us get smooth and firm surfaces that we're all looking for. We've had a visit from our agronomist consultants called STRI, who work with the RNA, FIFA World Cup and the Olympic Games. Their visit is very scientific, with data collection taking from soil samples, stint meter readings, and also a trueness meter reading. The trueness meter measures the amount of deviation from a rolling ball and is capable of detecting such small features as disease scars, pitch marks, and patches of annual meadow grass. The initial results from the visit were incredibly positive, but we will update you with a more detailed report in next month's video. And finally, on the course matters, we are delighted to welcome Nathan Klein to our West Course team as an apprentice greenkeeper. Moving on to mansion matters, as you will know from the vision presentation, the club's intention is to convert the Thornhill room from its current use as a function room into a members lounge. We have formed a steering group of members, helping me to discuss and manage the project and we also have met with two interior designers to get their thoughts and advice on the room. Over the coming weeks, we will be emailing all of you outlining the intended functionality and the use of the room. After reading this information, we will ask you to indicate your support or not for the intended change of the room. Now here's a question for you. Do you have any friends or family who enjoy the outdoors? like to meet new people or are simply looking for a new hobby? If you do, we have just the programme for you. We've created a new Get Into Golf programme designed for members, friends and family to learn golf in a welcoming, relaxed and most importantly fun environment. Within each level, golfers will have formal lessons from our PGA professionals, on-course experiences, lessons on etiquette, opportunities to gain confidence by playing Rickmansworth Golf Course and of course, once ready, have the opportunity to play on both of our championship courses. Further details of the programme will be communicated shortly, but if you have anyone in mind that you think might like the programme, please do contact Matt Jones for more information. I wanted to update you on our progress made with dry hire events. Dry hire means we simply charge a facility fee and hand over the selling, planning and delivery of the event to a specialised company. So far we have hosted two events of this nature, of which both ran very well. Dry hire has multiple advantages for the club, including no administration time or money spent on advertising, selling or coordinating the event, no damage to or additional investment required in our equipment, as the external company provide their own cutlery, crockery and linen. No more park staff are required, as the external company bring their own staff, chefs and event managers. They also do not use our kitchen. The coffee lounge is used as a mobile bar, meaning the Caris bar is kept as a members only area. And finally, and most importantly, the facility fee we receive is 100% pure profit, which means all departments can focus their time and energy on improving your members' experience. 
At present, we are only working with two dry hire companies, which are Ragasan and Laguna. Moving on to other food and beverage matters, we are currently working on the final touches to the improved bar menu. We will be launching two new trial offerings, which include a specials board and a sharing platter menu. The trial specials board will be changed twice a week, running from Monday to Thursday and then Friday to Sunday. To give you a flavour of the type of items on the specials board, the intended configuration for the Monday to Thursday will be one soup, one quiche, two light plates and a homemade cake. The trial sharing platter will include 12 items, which can be purchased either individually or as a combination of three, five, seven or ten items. After each month, we will take off the two least popular dishes and replace with two new dishes to trial. We will continue this process until we have 12 dishes that are all popular. And finally, a date for your diary, Sunday the 23rd of June. We will be putting on live music out on the terrace. What better way to enjoy a summer's afternoon than sipping on a refreshing glass of wine from our new wine list and listening to the incredibly talented acoustic duo called Mighty Quinn. There is no charge for this event and we do hope to see you and your family there. Thank you as always for listening and we look forward to updating you next month.